All right, sports fans, how's everybody out there doing? William Martin coming at you one more time here on YouTube with another edition of the 300 Pounds of Sports Knowledge Podcast. Now, with the start of the 2024 MLB season here, I've talked about the AL East, I've talked about the AL West, and every division in the National League. And last, but certainly not least, it is now time to talk about the American League Central. Now, the Central was a very interesting division last year. It only took 87 wins for the Minnesota Twins to win this division, as every other team in the Central last year finished with a losing record, which included both the White Sox and the Kansas City Royals losing at least 100 games. Now, as the Twins look to repeat as the division champs in the Central, will anybody have what it takes to overtake them? And I want to start with the defending champs there because, to me, and this is no disrespect to the Twins, they took advantage of a bad Central division last year. And at the end of the day, you play who's on your schedule. I'm not knocking them. Uh, but, you know, it's one of those, okay, the Twins won 87 games. They got to the postseason. But the bigger news is for the first time in 21 years, Minnesota was able to win a playoff series as they swept the Toronto Blue Jays in round number one. Now, they should once again, in my opinion, be the team to beat in the Central. But of course, will they live up to those expectations? Signing veteran Carlos Santana will be big for this lineup. You got Max Kepler, uh, but then you lost Sonny Gray in free agency as he signed with the St. Louis Cardinals. You still got Pablo Lopez and Joe Ryan in that rotation. And then John Duran uh, in the ninth, uh, which will be big for Minnesota as they look to uh, navigate their way once again through the Central. Now, for the Cleveland Guardians, I expect 2024 to be a year of transition for them. Longtime manager Terry Francona has retired, and he will be replaced by Stephen Volk. Now, of course, this is going to be Volt's first try as a manager in the big leagues that after finishing his playing career in 2022, he spent last year as a coach with the Seattle Mariners. Uh, veteran third, uh, uh, third baseman uh, Jose Ramirez continues to get it done at a high level uh, for Cleveland. Now, pitching has been a strength for the Guardians in, reach, in uh, recent years. And, of course, they're looking for it to once again be a case in 2024, you've got Tanner Baby, Shane Bieber, Logan Allen, and Tristan McKenzie, all solid pitchers. And then Emmanuel Classe uh, in the ninth, one of the best closers in baseball. And, you know, some people are, like I said, you know, expecting the Twins to win this division. I don't think it's going to be a runaway. I think it's going to be very close. And I think the Guardians, um, depending how things go, they could be right there. Uh, in this mix to win this division. Now you look at the Detroit Tigers and they're coming off of seven consecutive losing seasons. You just have to wonder, are they ready to turn that corner and be a contender in the, cent in the central? Now for AJ Hinch, the Tigers manager, this is his fourth year in Detroit. And where's the production going to come from? You look at first baseman, Spencer Tokelson, outfielder, Kenny Carpenter, uh, will Detroit be able to get anything out of Javi Baez? Remember, he was a big free agent signing for them a couple of years ago. And, of course, Baez has not lived up to the hype. Uh, but, of course, with this pitching staff, will there be any improvement for the Tigers? In my opinion, I think, you know what, the fans in the Motor City just need to buckle up for another long summer. Now, about those White Sox, they lost 101 games last year. And you just have to wonder, will they find a way to improve this year? There's talent there. I mean, you got Andrew Vaughn, uh, Eloy Jimenez, Andrew Benatendi, Yon Moncada, Luis Robert Jr. But pitching was a big issue for uh, the Sox last year. They had one of the worst pitching staffs in the AL. Uh, Dylan Cease is no longer there. And the Southsiders have to find a way to contend in the Central. But at the end of the day, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to. And then finally, you've got the Royals, who after winning it all in 2015, have been plagued by futility. Each of the last six years have seen the Royals finish either fourth or fifth in the American League Central, which includes them tying a franchise mark for futility last year as they lost 106 games. 
Now, Kansas City, of course, they currently find themselves in the middle of a rebuild, but are they any closer to being a contender? I'm not so sure about that. And I'm honestly, I'm going to lean on and say no, because the Royals, they got to improve their pitching staff first and foremost from last year. They were 14th in the AL in team ERA, and three of their pitchers lost at least 11 games last year. We know what you're going to get with Bobby Witt Jr. He is the future of this franchise. You got the president, Sal Perez, uh, two of the few lone or two of the few bright spots, rather, for Kansas City. But I think the Royals are once again uh, going to be plagued with some struggles this year. Uh, like I said, to start, the Twins are the odds-on betting favorite to win this division. Their closest competition is going to be Cleveland. How much competition uh, will Cleveland be able to give the Twins this year? I'm not so sure how much, but nonetheless, at season's end come October, I do expect another American League Central title for the Twinkies. So folks, that's going to wrap it up. And as always, I want to take this time out to thank all of you for tuning into the 300 Pounds of Sports Knowledge Podcast here on YouTube. I want to take this time out to thank all of you fine folks out there for tuning in. And if you have not already, please feel free to subscribe to this channel. Now, if you're on the X, formerly known as Twitter, please feel free to follow me at 300 Pounds of Sports. And like I always say, if you follow me, it will be my pleasure to follow you right back. There's also the Sports Discussion Group on Facebook at the Sports Depot 365. Now, you can check it out. Drop a line and be a part of one of the better sports debating sites going on social media. So once again, fine folks, my name is William Martin and I am signing off and I'm saying take care and have yourselves a wonderful day.